Like many things in our homes, your doors become worn over time. The older your door becomes, the more problems you may start to notice. In this video, we will cover five common problems with doors, what the probable cause is, and what your best solution will be. By the end, you'll have a better understanding of the problem and can take the right next step to having your door fixed, whether it's a simple DIY fix or hiring a professional contractor. Hi, I'm Rebecca and welcome to the Home Solutions channel. If you're experiencing problems with your door, you don't always want to replace the entire thing, and we completely understand that. A new door is a big investment. So I sat down with Dale from Southwest Exteriors to learn all about some of the common problems that can come with doors over their lifetime and what to do about it. Before we get into that, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss any home solutions. Now let's get with Dale to learn about door replacements. So number one is just the doors not working properly. Each door is definitely unique. Um, you know, you can have 10 different doors and they seem like they're all having the same issue. And you can see 10 different issues for, for a very similar situation. So like I said, it could be, it could be that the, the door jam is functioning or is uh, out of form somehow. It could be that you have a hinge loose. And what needs to happen is you usually need to have somebody that understands how doors function come in and actually assess what's going on, unless it's very blatant. You know, obviously if there's, you know, if you're seeing a spot where it's rotting on the bottom of your door, that's probably your problem. So you yeah. can you can self-assess those type of things, but if you're having an issue and you just have no idea what you're looking at, it's definitely good to have somebody that knows what they're looking at and, and can assess the door issue rather quickly. The second problem and solution that we've outlined is the door rubbing against bent hinges or the door being out of square. Right, sometimes you can adjust the hinges. So sometimes it is a very simple thing to put a small shim behind the hinge or pull off the trim and then hinge the door jam. Those can be things from the house settling to uh, an improper installation. So typically, I would say that that's gonna be something that can be adjusted in the short term, but long term solution, it's probably not the best solution. You're probably gonna need a new door at some point. If you're, if you're seeing things out of square like that, it's probably a symptom of a larger issue. So the third problem that we've outlined, which is a big one, is water coming in. So water can come from a lot of places. Obviously, if it's attached to the outside of your house, there's any number of ways water can come in. Um, typically the water is going to show up at the bottom of the door. It may come in from the inside corners of your door. It may come in from um, the uh, top of the door and come down the jam. It, you know, if it's not flashed mm -hmm. properly, if you have a roof leak, a siding leak, you can have an issue with your foundation where the water will actually run along your foundation, find a way in, and then end up coming at that door opening. The door itself wasn't what's leaking. It's just, it's just where it's showing up. And then you end up tracing that leak somewhere else. But you have no way of determining that without pulling that old door out. Yeah, the water is always a big one, I feel like, because, you know, there's rot sure. and... Yeah. So you definitely want to get an expert out there to be able to determine where yeah. that leak is coming from. The fourth problem we've outlined is seeing air or light leaking through the sides of the right. door. That's probably the most common thing that I see in an improper installation or an installation issue. So if a door is not installed perfectly plumb and level, and then you have a situation where the weather seal is not hitting properly. If the door jam is not installed properly and the, everything's put in the way that it should be, you will get some light leakage and you will feel some air coming through. Um, same with sealing the bottom of the door. If you don't seal the bottom of the door, wind, whatever, just like water can come through any of the gaps. As far as light penetration, that's the one that probably we get the most calls about on new installations. Usually that has to do with the weather seals or the way that the, the door slab is actually fitting into the jam. And those can be adjusted in many different ways. Um, so for, I can tell you that uh, as great as manufacturers on, none of them are perfect. Oftentimes those things come from manufacturing defects. When they cut the door jam for the hardware, it doesn't take anything to make that slightly off. And then all of a sudden your door doesn't shut all the way to the weather sill uh, seal. And then you have a, uh, you end up with a light gap there. You really want to have somebody who knows what they're looking at and the ways to detect what, if it's an installation problem, maybe a product problem, maybe it's just something that needs to change different weather stripping. Mm -hmm. um, but all of those things, you know, or anybody that does door installations and does them well should be able to determine what the issue is rather quickly. And then the fifth and final problem that we've outlined is just the door 
giving up on its life, as I right. put it. <laughs> so yeah, doors, doors have a uh, finite amount of time that they last. Depending on the conditions that the old door was installed, you know, if you have perfect conditions with everything's covered, the door never sees water, it never has any issues, you don't have kids slamming and coming in and out of school every day. All of those things contribute to the length of time that your door will last. Anytime you're putting something outside, you have to expect some amount of damage from the elements and that's typically the biggest thing with damage. You know, if you hit a point where the jam's starting to deteriorate, maybe it's, I've seen a lot of repairs where, uh, somebody's breaking into somebody's house and then somebody's gone back and repaired that break in you know after mm -hmm. somebody kicked in the door all of a sudden somebody's done some fix to get everything to function and then over time that breaks down super quick you know it's one of those situations where i've seen crazy repairs on doors i've seen people over engineer crazy things and they would have spent less time replacing a door than they did on the fix itself and right. in the long run it's just better to just to replace the door and have it over with. Well, Dale, thank you so much for taking the time to sit down with me and just share your knowledge on all of these topics. I really appreciate it. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I really, I enjoy sharing that knowledge that I built over years and I want everybody to know as much as they possibly can uh, before they do and take any action on their home. So yeah, my pleasure. Whatever problem you're experiencing with your door, you'll want a professional's opinion. A professional door replacement contractor can assess your problems and determine what the best solution is. But how do you find the right company to help with your door problems? By knowing what to look for and asking the right questions. Linked below, we have an article that will outline nine questions to ask a door replacement contractor. Then you will know what company is trustworthy to work with and feel assured they will fix your door problems. Thank you so much for stopping by the Home Solutions channel where we want you to have the look you love coming home to.